Getting sick in space. It doesn't look like getting sick on Earth. In fact, it's wildly different. Now, right now, there's a lot of talk surrounding the new coronavirus, COVID-19, and the pandemic that's spreading around the globe. But what would it look like if something like coronavirus were to break out on the space station, on the moon, on Mars? It'd look a lot different. Illnesses spread and react in the body a lot differently in space than they do on Earth. For instance, the stresses of space flight launching off of a planet into space, the body reacts pretty significantly. And living in a microgravity environment, all of that combined, scientists have shown that it drastically impacts the immune system and how we respond to different things like illnesses, like viruses, like different bacteria. Now, treatments treating illnesses like a virus also work differently in space. For instance, some research has shown that with a bacterial infection, antibiotics actually don't work the same on astronauts in space as they do on us here on Earth. So things get a little bit tricky once you get off the planet. Now, another big thing that is different about getting sick in space is it's much more easy to transmit a disease when you're in a microgravity or zero gravity environment. Now here on Earth, we have gravity, right? We all know that. So if I sneezed, if I coughed, all of the little droplets in there, all of those little tiny particles and projectiles would go out and then they'd go down to the ground. On the space station, in the microgravity environment, they would go out and they'd stay out. Those little particles would float around for a much, much, much longer time. And so it would be much more likely for any of those particles to hit one of my crewmates and infect them. Not only is it easier to transmit diseases in space, but the body also doesn't react quite as well, and it's a lot riskier. That's also because since you're off Earth, you don't have tons of doctors right there at your disposal. You don't have a ton of different medications at hand pretty much at all times. You really have a lot fewer resources, and while astronauts can communicate with people here on Earth, they can communicate with doctors, it really makes things a lot trickier. Now, things will get a lot, lot trickier once we go back to the moon or even to Mars. Now, once we start, if we start making lunar settlements, Martian settlements, we don't know what those quarters and what those habitats might look like, but it's likely that there won't be that many of us yet and that we might be pretty close together. We might be a little group of us in a tunnel on Mars. And so if something were to break out, it might be a little bit of an issue. Now with different gravities, you know, and different circumstances, obviously transmission will look a little bit different for both of those environments. Um, but they're pretty extreme living circumstances. And so it's tough to say yet exactly how the body will react differently to getting sick and what it might look like treating the flu on Mars versus treating the flu here on Earth. So there are a lot of variables that we just aren't sure how to address yet. Now that's not to say that we shouldn't go, people are going to get sick, it's dangerous. Um, that's just to say that it's an interesting thing to think about, right? Imagine you're on the moon. What happens if you get a cold? How do you quarantine if you're all living in the same habitat? How do you know that the medicine's working properly especially if there's a communication delay, like with on Mars. There are so many different variables that just make getting sick in space a lot more complicated. So this is all kind of theoretical because we haven't been to Mars yet and we haven't set up lunar settlements on the moon, uh, but we're getting there. So this is a thing that's important and really interesting to think about. So with space.com, I'm Chelsea Goad. Feel free to stay tuned right here to keep up to date with how coronavirus is shaping the space industry and also how human space exploration will continue to evolve and whether or not we might see a case of someone with a cold on Mars and what that might look like.